Ever wonder what your day would be like with Boom Radio? Yep, us too. We don't think about nightmares. Good afternoon, good evening. This is the Boomba on your Boom Radio NG. My name is Shala Rogers. It's going to be one hour of music, sports, politics, and everything in between. And my name is Oladu Nko. I bid you a warm welcome to the bar this very interesting afternoon. Nice to have you. Welcome. My name is Tukumbo Ojekunle. So, this very interesting afternoon, like he had said, we're going to be talking about a few things um, a few sad stories, a few riot acts. And a few enlightening things as well. We're going to be, um, basically, it is going to start from the entertainment angle today. Um, sadly, it is not a very interesting or it's not a very happy note yeah. that is starting from. But um, it is what it is. We bring the news whichever way. So we're starting off with the announcement, official announcement of the death of um, a Nollywood actor in the person of Junior Pope mm. and about four other um, crew members on a set. Now it was said that these people, it was said that they had drowned mm. um, on the way back from a set. It was I think it was some um, a part of the River Niger. Um, mm -hmm. Apparently, this person had made a video, or there are videos out there. Other um, cast and crew members on that um, set on the way to um, the set. And obviously, the video shows them being on a boat. Boat, mm -hmm. as in crude boat, look, crude looking boat. And um, with no fire, no, not fire, with no safety equipment whatsoever. So, um, and this has not generated a lot of conversation. So first, uh, first things first. When this was um, announced, after a while, there's been videos of a particular um, survivor of this mm -hmm. that talked about how when he was, um, when the boat capsized, apparently he said that the person driving this boat wasn't paying attention and he collided with another boat. Really? And then... They capsized. Now, after the capsizing and he was brought out of... Yeah. Um, there's a video, though. Um, just a quick one to just rant for a few seconds. The need for us to bring out our phones and to be posting and to be taking pictures of all things, I hope that it will not lead us into something else one of these days. Because mm. there's a video out there where you see um, this person's body being moved out of um, the water. You could see a lot of people, they were not even trying to help. Everybody had their phones and I'm like, how warped are people's minds? That we, I will get back to. Just wanted to put that in so that I did not forget. Mm, come but back to that. anyway, the major thing was really. Um, he, the, yeah. It was said that this person was brought out of the water, then was carried to the mortuary, then was taken to a herbalist. Herbalist? Then, yes. Was he the only one, by the way? Um, there's still a few people that, according to reports, bodies are still missing. There are about five people that drowned. Locate, yeah. there, I think there are two people that they're still searching for. Wow, two, three people wow, that are still searching wow. for. They've already found a few other people's bodies. Um, wow. And there are a few survivors. So, according to, it was taken to the mortuary, then was taken to a herbalist, before it was taken to a hospital, before he was pronounced dead. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know. Well, and I think that, so yeah. let me, the Lando, chronological, Lando, so yeah. before they finally announced that he was dead. And I feel that just this leads to chain of events. There are a lot of things that we, we need to unpack. 
first things first, you see that a lot of people, um, according to Actors Guild of Nigeria, um, they're suspending the producer of the movie, Adama Luke. Um, that there were no safety, and I've seen a lot of people talk about it online that they, they were no, there wasn't provision for um, a lot of safety equipment for the cast and the crew. Makes sense. Uh, you know, you know. Some sometimes I just wonder um, what I why I say that is because at this boom bar something happened recently. Well, not recent. I cannot. Rec I can't recall. Well, we had um, a mishap. Um, yes, again, a boat mishap. But this time, I think it was more of uh, in, in, in inter inter um, inter city transport or something, where people also I think few people died, and then the questions of okay, being sorry, sir, safety Elias, conscious. Um, Pastor Eliashib Imagines. I thought the rumor was countered. Sorry, sir. Please, what rumor? Yeah, he's, he's right, uh, because just a few hours after the story of um, the passing of uh, Junior Pope, that's the actor that uh, we've been talking about, mm -hmm. uh, there were videos online, and a lot of people actually went to town saying that he had survived, and that they were taking him to an hospital. Oh, yeah. If Apparently, yeah. that hospital turned out to be a shrine. Yeah. You know, that they, they, because... It was noticed that he probably still have some. He still have some life in him mm -hmm. when he got when they were taken to the morgue. Yeah, you know, yeah, they were yeah. just taken to the morgue straight. It just just shows you a feeling on the. That's what I'm saying. That there, there's so many there's so many things state. to unpack mm -hmm. from it. So just to respond to uh, just to clear the air because that's what we. No, do. it's quite timely because yeah. well, I would no, have no, gone on so, a different no, time. So, no, that's why I'm, so I don't it, think it's it, a rumor because it, I didn't it, explain it, it like did, that. No, 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 no not to you. He's saying that it's there what was he a rumor says about the survival. Oh yeah, he uh -huh. survived. Oh. So he, apparently, it, this life that they found in him might have left him in between the trip from the mortuary to wherever they took him to. Okay. So, like I said, so many things to unpack. First mm. things first, were videos of him, videos of other people on mm -hmm. boats mm -hmm. none of them without none of them with any form of life jacket or whatever it is they didn't have any how is it okay first things first you as a producer of a show of whatever it is feel it is okay to put people endanger people's lives secondly can i can, how I, can is I block it okay? that for you i okay. block it a bit for okay. you because honestly those who operate the boats mm -hmm. okay they know. Those who are pretty is that you are hiring somebody. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not absorbing the producer from from, from any blame, but you are you, you are you are, the, you are an operator. Okay? okay? You know that this is a safety ex, is a, is expected of you to put these gadgets in place for okay. people. Okay, can I ask you a question though? Do um when else did you get in a yellow bus, Lagos yellow bus? No, I don't know about yellow bus rides, really. You've not I'm talking about the no, boat no, oh, now. I know, mm, mm, I'm, and I'm trying to just, no, just them. answer. Okay, I'm, I'm no. going somewhere. Yeah. Have you been to it in a while? No, not quite. Okay. Not Pretty quite. Much. Makes sense. Last time that you ever been in it, if I can remember correctly, last time I was in it. Do you know if they wear seat belts? No, no, they, no, I no, understand no. you perfectly. I want, us to, my point? I want us to no, drive wait, wait. on this why, note why first. I'm saying, why I'm saying so is that, Go ahead. like I said, as much as it might sound a little insensitive, I know we we're talking about this before we got on the show, and I said, even as much as the, act, the producer did everything, how is a grown person okay with them telling you, ah, you're going on this boat to the other side to go and shoot this, and it is okay for you to get in the boat without a life jacket. I'm sorry. Mm. It might sound funny, but no, it, it, I'm not the, sure the, the, I am buy, going to go on opinion. a boat. The buy is an opinion. I understand. I'm what not you're sure saying. I'm going to go on a boat. I'm only saying. Everybody, the producer is what's it called, had their fault. The person riding the boat. Everybody has you know a the, fault. You know the That's sad part. You know the You know the sad part of this matter is that those people that um, 
that ride these boats, mm. mostly these crude ones, they are fantastic swimmers. They have to be. Nothing really happens to them. It's they the same way, be. half of the times, when you see bike men, and somebody, there's an accident, half of the time, is the passenger that they're carrying, that have, they know the way they are good at flying off. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. But you know there is a there is a law or rule that says that you should go and ride that helmet. And these guys have extra helmets. You they? know the funny thing? They do. There is a law that there is okay. actually passengers some passengers don't use them. This afternoon I actually found out that there is actually a law that is compelling people that are carrying people with boats. Mm. There is. See, that, you're not getting my point. The commission had there said so from law. some weeks ago. There is a when law. When we had this same mishap somewhere. Um, there are laws. How many people are following those laws? Now, it is it's one thing to follow a law. It's another thing I don't need to for there to be a law for me to adhere to safety reasons for my life. We know and I agree with you. I'm only saying that honestly and really and truly, the people operating the boat also know that there is a law. I am not saying that the people as, as a responsible person going on a location and I'm a responsible producer. Also, you know you said you are going to unpack so many things. So many, so many things happened on this particular trip. And they are all coming back to four now. Producer, why did the Guild of Editors, or what, what, what do you call them, yeah? why did they have to immediately suspend somebody? Because probably within them, in the circle, they also know that there are, there are laws or principles or the codes that you cannot breach. So immediately they are doing that. These guys should know. Okay, so I saw they um, know. another Nollywood actor who had posted something, um, I think late last night, that a lot of people are um, accusing the people on the boats that didn't have life jackets, but that he has been in a few sets and mm -hmm. then they ask you to do a few things that you're normally not comfortable with, but that okay, they, after they, a while... They past it. After a while... They will brand you as being a difficult actor, and they will not call you for um, what's he called? That's again? a joke, right? He he said what he said, <laughs> but the truth is that do I believe him? It's possible. It is possible, <laughs> but the I will still have to counter that because is your life really worth someone's uh -huh. stupidity? You know the you know you know the funny thing. The whole project they've gone for is on hold now. Nobody is even going to think about it. The project is the list of it's the done. problems. It's it's the list it of is the not problems. the list of the problems alone. The executive producers know they are in busy. The boss, I'm only saying that you rush and rush and rush. The job has everything has. Yeah, I'm just I'm, saying. On hold I'm looking now. at it from the angle where it's on hold. So somebody can't is do anything not. About somebody it. is done, not a responsible person. One producer is not doing the right thing for my life and for my safety. Mm. I'm not. I'm not sure. I want to put my life in anybody's hands. That's mm. where I'm coming from. That's anyway, the first part of anyway, it. We so, don't yeah, go ahead. I think that this, I think I'm going to call out the government a little bit. Mm. How many people, yes, how many people can perform CPR? I'm sure. Okay, don't let me say I'm sure. But I think that for a guy that they had carried to a mortuary, that they said the mortuary attendant had said this person is not dead. Then they took to a herbalist, and the herbalist had a few minutes or hours with the person, did a bit of rituals before they took him to a hospital. I think that a level of first aid would have made a difference. Okay. No, we've not how said many, anything wrong. How many people can... Um, Administer first aid to people. Mm, mm. I think that there's a lot of awareness that needs to go on, number one. Now, also goes back to the production team. I was talking to a friend earlier today, and I see, and I said that, see, um, and she said that, the, you see all these nonsense mushroom movies that they do, that it comes out every other AKD. AKD. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. I'm like that. Mm -hmm. If you see, she said she had a friend that is into, like, safety and all that, that... She was wondering one time, like, what exactly do you do? Mm -hmm. And it's like that in Nigeria now that a lot of things that he does is that they are being paid to be on a particular set mm -hmm. for days and weeks to, to make sure that everything that is being done 
is has done se- properly. Safety, yeah. And that I now said with what you said now, it means that proper um proper um film sets or movie sets means that it probably will take a lot of money to even hire those people as well. So you won't have such that's why you see all these big productions. They don't even do movies once a year. They will do it like one movie like in two, three years. Mm. But you have one small money and then when you're supposed to put things in place, on a normal day, even if, let's even assume it is supposed to be shot on that water and you're supposed to show that maybe these people, that's the, that's the scene. Mm-hmm. You would expect that there should be a crew of lifeguards and everything that in case anything happens Mm -hmm. but all this was not there even if there was a safety person on the set alone would have even told them that you can't go without life jackets and i wonder like when are we going to continue are we going to always continue to put our lives at risk you know you know every time these things happen we have other references to make yeah um, I'm sorry, I'm going to leave this and come back to it. The recent fire disaster in the, in the center of Lagos, okay, brought out so many things as well. Oh, yeah. Brought out how to manage l- fire when it breaks. The guy that threw fire burning right from where he, st- he was scared, he didn't know what, what to do. He threw it up and he went right somewhere somewhere else and the flame took over or the fire took over over you know you are right about what do we need to do sorry guys what do we need to do when things like this are happening safety is one we have shared responsibility in that area for too long anybody any company any mini mushroom company handling boat rides ferry rides okay from one end of the lagoon to the other, or small river to the end, to the bank, other bank, should come with a lot of safety precautions. They must know what to do. Yeah. They must know how to guard people. When people drown, for example, you have to be ready for, for, for accidents on a, on a location. Recently, at, in, in, in the US, okay, they, they, an actor got a gun. They gave him a gun. They actually gave him a gun. It was part of the script and the act. Yeah. And he didn't know that the gun did, did, was, loaded. was loaded. And he fired just as expected of him. And somebody died on the set. So accidents will occur on set, big, mighty, small, or tiny. But we must be safety conscious all the time. A producer must be a pro- A producer is not as a producer. A pro- executive producer knows everything about it. Your project director must be there. From the start of the business to the to the Z of it, and that that's why we go we go we go to sleep all the time. This life is lost. It's quite painful. For me, it's very painful that somebody has to go this way. A few people actually, sadly, more than one person. Oh. Um, it's 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 a very 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 sad incident. Ah, ah. I think what makes it what? worse is that, to a large extent, it's completely avoidable. I think that people, everybody should learn, even if you're not mm. going to. It's, it's something that we see a lot these days. We mm-hmm. need to learn how to provide first aid. If you're not going to provide first aid to people, get out of the way. Mm. We need to stop this thing of wanting to post everything up until the guy's lifeless body in a hospital uh. is a picture online. And I'm like... How is it that somebody dies and next thing you do is okay to take the, his, mm-hmm. the person's picture? They're trying to rescue someone out of a river and the next thing is take a picture. They're taking someone to a herbalist or something. The next thing is take a picture. What sense does it make? When do we stop this madness? Because I think that is getting to a point where people do not know where to draw the line. Mm. So a few mm. years ago in Japan, mm. the government made a conscious effort to reorientate the people. They started teaching young kids about respect, mm. and it became a national thing. The government made it, you know, 
a way of life. Mm. I've seen several documentaries and uh, read books about it. And basically, you see young kids in Japan mm. who bow to everybody that they know they is older say, than them. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> I was also watching a video this morning. Mm -hmm. And when it was siesta time, I saw them convert their desk in the class to to mini oh, beds. I saw that. It was scary. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> really lovely, but scary. Everything. It was beautiful. In the workspaces as well. You it, know, even our homes. It was very beautiful. Yes. Scary for the for uh, Tokumbo. Excuse me, don't Be stress on me. It's, it's, just, yeah. it's just something else I, I yeah, saw. Yeah, it's fine. It's a, and, and by the way, let me extend. Uh, do, you, do you know what you've done for, towards sciences too? You could walk into um, a lavatory, okay, and do what you want you to do. And before you step out, the analysis of what you drop there is out. The results are out. Yeah, I don't know about that one. No, it's said go check. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, it so is just can we to. go on? I, I, let's go, go back. I don't know about it. Please, can we go no, on? No, no. Okay, let's but go on with can this. Can I have one. my own opinion? No, I, because do I have to agree with you. I, I don't know about that. I video. didn't argue over that one. Oh. You know why? Please argue. No, I won't argue over that now. It's, sure. not, it's, oh. not, about, it's not about Okay, your okay. Let, no, let's so, so, Okay, I'm going Go somewhere. Ahead. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I have to quickly dispel Togobo's video because at the end of the day now, they'll come <laughs> and fact check it and tell us that <laughs> we're all dumb. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did no, you fact check it? No, do, wait. Did you fact check it? Hold it, hold it, hold it. I, you saw, you told me what okay, you saw. Okay, And I also from the told you what I saw. Tell him, so you, whether you, you fact check or you don't fact check, it's fact check. He just saw what he saw. Okay, so can we go ahead? Oh. Please, can you go ahead? You were, you were saying something okay, earlier. Okay, so Togumba is angry and that's... Uh, no, I'm not angry. <laughs> my oh, day is made. What is wrong with this can now? You just... No, what is wrong with this? And you are allowing him. Please go ahead. My day is made. Do not... So back to this a holiday or... Yeah, okay. Back to the point that I was making, though, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, the ancestor does not like it, but we have to do it. Oh, come on. Um, uh, Bambo. Okay, don't worry. Let me do this thing for you. See, because because what I've already done is just say, Y'all are spent like 10 minutes and, this and what we are not talking about. Um, we don't have can you time. E can you eclipse it? No. To okay, about. then. Thank you. Shall I go on, please? Sing <laughs> the same song you've been singing for the last 10 days. God, what's the song? Oh, oh you okay. just sang it too. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean <laughs> anything. Oh my no. God! Oh, Shola, it's, Please, don't, don't, it's don't part don't of do the this. Baha. Dolupo, don't do this. Okay. Ah. Don't do this. Leave me and Tokumbo alone. No, this is not right. Ah. Okay, so, uh, I don't care what it feels. You know, maybe when we're done, <laughs> I, I will explain to him. Don't explain it now, so everybody so, can understand. Because I've not done anything now. Okay. 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 You, you're still making me over digress. So. I, you're not in my head. So, um, the reason why I brought it up is that um, we need an attitudinal change in Nigeria. We need a total reawakening and rejigging of our entire system from bottom to top, from top to bottom. If Japan didn't have this culture before, and now they have it, and it's been on for decades. And this is the culture of, you know, ikigai, respect and everything. Mm. The reason why I'm bringing it up is very clear. Nigeria is a country that has over 200 countries within it. You know, when I say countries, I mean ethnic nationalities. We are all different people, making up one country. And some people have the culture of greeting in the morning, some don't. And it also affects our education. It affects our level of awareness and exposure. So... This is why we do not have a national outlook to a lot of things. First things first, I always want us to revert back to the lore. I was listening to these guys. You know, I always like listening because you, when you listen, you learn. And even if, it, if it's not a new thing, at least it's a reawakening or a rejigging of what you think you know. And you guys talked about an existing law on you know, operating boat rides and everything. The reason why I'm saying this is that there's already a law that actually is in charge of this industry of uh, boat rides. You go to Venice, and the gondola is not just a means of transportation, but a massive income earner for the country and that city, right? So how come we're in a place where in 2024, 
you're taking passengers and there's no safety gears or measures in place. The instant you showed me that video yesterday, the first thing that came out of my mind was oh, there's no safety jacket. Doesn't no like no like no life jacket. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't know the guy had died. Did you understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to say that we need a cultural reorientation that makes us understand that Dolubo complained about how we're quick to bring out our cameras. It is now a thing. It's not a Nigerian thing, but it's worse now. It's horrible. Everybody it's so fancies horrible. themselves as the next viral thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you think you're going to make the next viral video. You think you're going to be the next big thing. But really, should all. everything so, be boiled down to just being... But, but sadly, viral. it does. So that's where I was going with the uh, comparison or the the story about Japan that until we all agree, it just it, it maybe may the gov government will be the driving factor. Mm -hmm. But until we all agree that we need to learn and unlearn some things and reorientate ourselves, we're going to come back here in a few weeks' time or a few months' time complaining about how something was happening and nobody was about safety. You know, when we mm -hmm. were younger, we were members of the Boy Scouts. Red you Cross know, too. Red Cross and all of that. It was compulsory that you joined one of these one groups. One of these groups, mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the things that we learned was safety. One of the things that we learned was first aid. First aid. Mm -hmm. Tolu what made reference to CPR. I, I laughed. To be honest, I don't remember CPR anymore. To be very honest. We mm -hmm. learned this many mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And in this room, if anybody mm -hmm. knows, I was only her because mm -hmm. of our background mm -hmm. in school. Mm -hmm. Me and Tokumbo, I doubt if we still know if we ever knew it. I doubt if we still know. Do you understand? But you have to do with age or anything. I'm not being real here. No, yeah. leave the age thing. Yeah. No, 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 please. I know no, you. You know why? You know why? One moment now. You're okay. Doing, Mua. You are doing eyes like oh, Lord. like, like Metusela. Wait, 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 wait. Now divert the conversation. You know, okay. you know I'm talking gently now. This is not about me today. No, you do your face like Metusela. Like, you don't do like this. So, you you, do this is communication. You, you no, 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 no. Talk here. This is communication now. Oh, my God. You're allowing him around No, I must allow him. No, you don't. Because, you know, I should allow him. Him. Anyway, because he, he, what he said now is, is, is important. <laughs> Most governors, right, they don't know what CPR is. A lot of people don't. A lot of people, lot of don't. people don't. And uh, that is the see, truth. But the truth is that even if you don't I know wanted CPR, it to, I wanted even you to if, learn on even that. Even if you don't know CPR, you do, the, least don't you can know. Do, the least you can do for yourself or for land. people is yeah. at least take them to the nearest hospital. Okay. So, okay. so, 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 okay. you know, if, if I don't do this, I'm not happy. I've done it. So back to the matter at hand. The truth is that we're all culpable. Virtually 90-something percent of us, by my own statistics, are culpable. We are wrong. And um, I, I, I've said the story before. I'll say it again. I, I saw a couple in traffic. I saw a, a couple in traffic. And they had what I would term to be a three- or four-month-old baby mm. in the front seat. Mm -hmm. You know, and because their glasses were down and I was out for a walk, and I said, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry, madam, I think you should be in the back seat and everything. And they looked at me, they looked at me and they laughed. They laughed at me mm -hmm. and they went away. And it's not the first time. I've had several embarrassing situations like that. So I, I took it upon myself to educate people about it. The reason why you should not have an under 13 year old person in the front seat. All of this I'm trying to talk about is now, it's now normal for us for the abnormal to be normal yeah mm. getting on a boat without safety jackets mm -hmm. you know driving without like uh, what, what, someone drowning belts. and then you think is a herbalist that are you, you know kidding? like if, if we had the proper orientation you would know that oh what he needs now is to get water out of his lungs yeah get water out of his systems get probably a, in mouth to mouth a, get resuscitation get him and cpr everything. are yeah. you kidding so, yeah. I, I'm saying that, so that even if you don't know CPR, yeah. you will know the protocols. You will know that ah, this person needs to breathe. Do you know how many times something happens and people are gathering around? Let me tell you one of the things that I saw in the video of this actor when they said he was alive and the people went to town with it. They were at the morgue and they were yeah. shouting he's alive. They were talking about, I don't want to exaggerate, there were yeah. over a hundred people rushing into that morgue. To see, to what, see, see what there were over 100 people, like, to there were see cameras what? everywhere. Like, I'm like, people were rushing, and I'm like, even if the doctors were trying to save this guy now, they can't, what are they you can't doing? even get access yeah. to him. It's, you it's such a, such you know, a very we, sad. I, 
there, there, there's a bit of poverty involved somewhere. I see my people. I, I'm sorry, we, we don't mm. like these things, but it's the truth. I see my people gather when something has happened and people are watching like it's a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, they don't, there's no free access for the first responders. First people, yeah, sure. And these are sure. all the issues. And that's why I went back to the story of mm -hmm. Japan and how mm -hmm. they were able to reorientate the people from the school, from the grassroots, mm -hmm. from the lowest level to the highest. That's mm -hmm. why I brought all of these things up. Mm -hmm. To be honest, you know, I, I did a little of joking um, here and there. No, no, no. What, what, what it really is, is yeah. that we need a total reorientation. People need to understand, you know, what should be. And again, the agencies in charge of enforcing those laws in that state, where were they? The uh, reference that Tokumbo to made, the Lagos mm -hmm. State government clamped down on those guys immediately yeah. because they have an active agency that's monitoring the waterways and all the activities mm -hmm. in and around the waterways. In Lagos, you can't just put a boat of water and say, you can't do. I, I'm operating. You need a license amongst mm. other mm. things, mm. you know. I, I told the bike man once when his when his brother bought a bike for him, he was our former mayor, and he said he's now an Okada rider. And I said, I hope so you don't collect license. And he said, wait him be licensed that is a bike now that you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Or the same way I told my friends, <laughs> put on your seat belt. They said we're just going down the road. She we're not getting on the express. It's in us. And we must change this thing. Really so, must. thank you very much. And thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Any mm. which way. So, we'll see a lot of these things. We hope that some things are happening. Um, the yeah. Actors Guild of yeah. Nigeria yeah. is um, sanctioning the lady. They're also saying after that... The mm. After the fact. After the fact. There is no shoot today today. Mm. But the truth is that people have, people that have died have died. Um, so sad. Anyway, um, it's, it's our hearts... Uh, with his family or the family of the deceased um, at this moment. And he's not the only one that has died. Yes, so there, are about all of five, there are about five people that, um, are di that have died. Some people's bodies are still mm -hmm. missing mm -hmm. at this point. Um, so any which way, moving on from that also, there's a video that's circulating, mm -hmm. um, and it is the one of where a particular convoy of um, an Undo governorship aspirant was said to have bought fuel at a filling station in Ondo State and they refused to pay and they drove off. So after a few um, hours, um, reports have said that it is an APC governorship aspirant in the name of the convoy of Wa um, Wale Akiteriwa, who used to be a former commissioner of um, finance in the state. Um, it is reports. How, it's how, not confirmed How were they yet. identified? Um, CCTV footage. The CCTV yes. footage. The CCTV footage um, on that. That's the report on that. Um, a lady actually got really seriously injured in that um, conversation. Got injured? Yes. And, you know, when I first heard about this, I'm like, okay, it's just an aspirant. Like, you're not even a candidate yet, though. For people that do not know, before you get to primaries or before you win primaries, you're an aspirant with other people. Um, when you win the primaries, mm -hmm. then you become the a mm, candidate, yes. Yeah? So, and then for uh, if this person is actually true that he's the he was his convoy, my mind goes on to you. Even you were even in government before, so you can't even say that you are like it doesn't make any sense. Kind of rascality, you bought fuel and you did not pay. Sorry, yeah. can we say fuels? <laughs> like you, you because did. it was not one vehicle. It wasn't one vehicle. No, and you you loaded up and you did not pay, mm -hmm. and, and you and took and off. They zoomed off. I, I I saw that video. I watched it about five times. Talking about, and I saw you know there was a commentary running. Maybe the person was biased or not, but there was a commentary running. And at some point, there's um, two ladies running after a vehicle. So they kept on pointing them to the last vehicle. I also zoomed off. Like, we'll be pay, like he would pay. Uh, you know, and so it was obviously something that was well crafted and planned and everything. I don't know how you want to come back from this. I, even as a PR person, I would advise you to throw in your towel and say, You can't you talk this out. You can't talk out of this. You're one. not contesting yeah, for yeah. governorship anymore. But this is. This, this, this is theft. To me, this is like yeah. theft, and there's, there's yeah. proof. There's proof, there's evidence, and this kind of thing could lead you to jail. You know, one of the things that always irks me is how we don't enforce our laws. There are laws. There are laws. I, I saw a video. 
Yeah. Popular artist, a singer. You know, he was being hailed by area boys in traffic somewhere on the island. And someone was in a bus. We call them Korokbe, those small buses. And their driver left the bus in the middle of the road to go and, to go and hail the guy. To go and hail this artist <laughs> with the hope that they would get money from him. But guess what? The artist got down, he was angry at the way they were hailing him and God knows what. And some people hit his car and he didn't like it because his car is expensive. And he punched the driver of that Korokbe. And the driver of the Korokbe said, no, now that he has punched him, he's going to go after him and he will still pay him. He must settle him for punching him. And you know, I just said to myself, I've seen about two or three violations here. <laughs> You're parking your car in the middle of, of traffic is a violation. There's a crime committed somewhere. Do you understand? The, but the biggest one was him actually punching someone and there's a recording of it. Impo All you public. need is that video in court. That's assault. That's battery. That's God knows what. Do you understand? When are they going to start enforcing our laws when there's evidence? That's my mm -hmm. own issue. Because the police, they're still stuck in this their old system of Someone has to write a petition and this and that. I get that because you don't want the law to be misused or. Mm -hmm. But again, there's some things that are so open and so glaring doesn't even make any sense. that you hope that the law actually you know falls down and comes hard on mm -hmm. these people. Mm. You know, so this governorship candidate, mm. I don't know, how he wants to spin this one. Even if you own the filling station, at least you will sign a document to say. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it doesn't my make filling any station. Sense. It doesn't and look. Got feel there. And the lady that was damaged, you should see her hand. It was, wow. oh man, it, it, it was gory. It was gory. It was disgusting, wow. you know. And Tony Wall said it now. So this one, I still yeah. aspire to. Yeah, it's just aspire. If aspirant. you become candidate, you go. Why are you? Oh, you not even win as governor. It's this kind of person that will just drive to Dangote and say, "Yeah, fill up all these it, cars." It, 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 do, it doesn't make with, any sense. With, with crude oil, let's be clear. <laughs> we don't need to refine it. it. It definitely, definitely doesn't make any sense. And talking about government, <laughs> we're coming down to Lagos State, where um, Governor Sowolu has now read the riot act for the Lagos Island market. Okay. Um, he finally um, went there today after the unfortunate incident a few days ago. And we know that there's been a lot of fire incidents in Lagos Island. Um, the day before that, it was another street on the island. Um, about two weeks before that, mm -hmm. there was a That's fire. The same address. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. 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 So it, same it's, it's, yeah. it's very, very interesting. Now, the governor has read the riot act that with these fires, the more reason why these fires are happening or why it is this bad Devastating. is because mm. of the structures First things first, they said that um, out of the 14 buildings that were affected, they're going to do integrity tests for them, and the ones that are not good are still coming down. It said that a lot more buildings are still going to come down in uh -huh. this area. I'm sorry. And um, until they're done with the investigation, the, that part of the market is to remain closed. Sealed. You know, um, I'm so happy that this has happened. Yeah. People will criticize, but trust me, last year when they there were issues mm. like this. The state actually shut down the building in and around every single one that has an issue. We used to joke a lot. You know, I used to hang out on, on the island mm -hmm. a lot. That's the proper island, which is Isaleko. Mm -hmm. And we actually used to joke that if you're cooking in your apartment mm -hmm. and you run out of salt, you don't need to go down. Just open your window and the next building, you can actually call someone and say, ah, <laughs> ah, show me, I bet, give me salt. And the guy will pass salt to you yes. from his window. That's how close. That's how close. You know, the funny thing is that I was talking to a friend of mine that is a civil engineer today and said that if you notice Lagos Island buildings, mm -hmm. they don't have, um, what's it called, windows that are casements that mm -hmm. they open out. Mm -hmm. That Slide. they always have to be sliding, sliding. because mm -hmm. there is no space mm -hmm. for the window to go out. The, the, it's the, that the, bad. The ones that actually have Do the, you know, uh, yeah. the opening windows were converted. Do you I remember that there was a particular building yeah. that they had their windows open while the new one, the was, new being one was being constructed. So when they were done, they couldn't close <laughs> it anymore. <laughs> it was too close, right? Do you know? Uh, do, you you know do you know that that is Saleko has always been in the news? But it needs to stop. Let me no. Th 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 like I want to. I want to point something out to you. Mm -hmm. Somebody woke up one day and said the whole of that place should be reconstructed entirely. We had a governor here who had a problem with that area. Pitch latrine. Mm. Pitch latrine. The whole of the ev in every each house 
had a problem of waste materials. Until the governor came down and said, no. In fact, for every house going up now, this is what you have to do. So bad, so sad, and I, I love the way the riot act is coming out. I hope we are going to enforce oh, it. Yeah, it sticks to Enforcement it. is is my headache. You see this riot act. We man. have to enforce these things this the, time the, the, there's, because it's there's not, going to be double standards. Document. There would be. I know family houses are there, structured yeah. ancestral yeah. homes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There will be double was, standards. Yeah. Yes, and those yes. points that you made are the point majorly. Yeah. But but you know those are addition, really not the problem. In addition, is know, this newly built yeah, slices? I, I said that they're part of it. So, in, in addition, in addition yeah. to the reason why I said there'll be problems is that, hey. for instance, they will tell you. And again, if you go to places like, uh, okay, yeah, they messed up at the Ogunsa already. At the Bola Close of Ogunsa, uh -huh. you go to Ogulano Drive Ogulano and all Drive, of this. Yes. Even if it's been commercialized, you find yeah. out that there's a setback from the fence deliberately to the yes, road to the and road. then there's a setback mm -hmm. from the building to the road good yes i, there's I this know standard yeah, setback. There. you will not be able to enforce that setback law on the island no you can't you because have, that space houses have to go down that, that, i'm sorry that, that spaces space, have to be created <laughs> <laughs> that setback space that you're talking about houses must go there's, there's probably i'm a, sorry there's probably a slice of house there. unless you want to leave <laughs> it as it is and, and you know the sad and part is why I said that and is that I think that cannot leave it it's like the newer that. houses that have a problem. You see oh. two old, nicely constructed houses, yeah? Mm. But the space mm -hmm. that is supposed to maybe like a fence in between them and the mm. space between them, mm. then you will now just see something that is tilting maybe towards the left or towards the right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then the sad part is that they will not even two, stay two by two. in their level. The two by two buildings. We build, call them two by two buildings. What's it called? You will not see them <laughs> four just, five floors like up. Yes, they just shoot up. I'm like, that. are you they kidding? You are right. They so, just shoot them up. So I have, I, I've always had an idea about those things. You know, like I said, I used to have in the Sareko a lot. And I, I saw this thing coming many years ago. And I always said to myself that these people see this as their ancestral homes. Mm -hmm. You get, like, like there, there were people who were relocated from there to Shita. Oh, New Lagos. Yeah, because of yeah, some no. development. That Olali, Daudu, Bankolemo. Yeah, those they, they settled there. They had Shita, to, by the way, yeah. the illegal gurus and stuff. Yeah, You're correct. Yeah. Then again, when they were going to expand the Tesla Balogun Stadium, mm -hmm. some of them were now re relocated re again towards Itiver Road yes. in Surulere. Yes. There are like some Lagos State buildings beside uh, the, mm -hmm. the corn oil filling station there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that shows that there's always space for development and yeah. everything. So, yeah. ancestral home or not, there's always a time for it has to, to move. Happen. You actually so have to move. I had an idea many years ago. I said to myself that, you know, government should allow private entities come in and they would merge those pieces of land together. Because now, yeah. that's, who do you want to give which land to? They, they have to merge it together. Like, say, for instance, this entire one plot has four buildings on it. <laughs> you get, and on those four buildings, yeah. each each slice of house, like the Lubo likes to say, slice. It's a slice. It's a slice. Those things you are slices. So this particular slice of house and that one and this one already has about sixteen families mm -hmm. and about four warehouses mm -hmm. and ten shops. So what you do is you reconstruct all of them together on that space, yeah, and give everybody an apartment. To live in and want to rent, to out. rent out. At the end of the day, you're going high. Do you get so a properly constructed building with underground parking, ground level parking, and all of that? It's possible. It's like a renaissance. It's like regenerating. We're, we're it's like gentrification, but with the approval of the owners this time. It will be. But it will be built the once they are there, or yeah, they will no, be relocated. They have to be relocated. Well, they have to be. Okay. When the constructions are being okay, done. That's well. So okay, fine. This this has to happen in Lagos. If what I'm saying doesn't happen, maybe a better plan is out there. But if what I'm saying happens, but the truth is that people at this point people need to move, and we need to stop with the with hmm. the terrible behavior. Like I said, as much as it might sound mean, but those riot acts at this point need to move. They need to happen. Lagos Island cannot continue. It can't continue. To, like it this. can't continue like this. We're in 2024, for God's sake. No, no sentiment. Government. Yeah. 
Let anyway, move. Yes, uh, moving on from that, um, the federal government has said that they consider half pay for Sanu and Nasu members. Um, the for the backlog of the money that they had promised them, they said that they are considering to give them half pay. Um, no, we're holding half pay. Mm. So, clarification on that is required, Delubon. Like I said, half pay on the backlog that President Muhammad Buhari did not pay them. So, so if, we are, if they are owing them 50,000 50, 50, now... They're not owing them no, by law. No, just a minute. I want to get... We are coming back on wish, that thing. If, if we are, are promised if, to if give you are them... Promised to give, no, their salary is 50,000. Those are case example. Mm. They are now going to give them 25,000. Yeah. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Huh? Ah, okay. Mm. So it's actually okay. about the no work, no pay stance no work, that, no that, that yeah. Buhari's government adopted, mm -hmm. which is actually standard globally because the lecturers don't had, work, had gone on strike longer than the law backs. And we must always be about the fact here. So the mm. Buhari government said they were not going to pay. Yeah. But the Tinubu government, you know, Mr. Politician trying to show that I'm a nice guy, said he will pay. And now they are saying they will pay half or whatever. Yeah. Whatever it is that they decide, Sha. My own is that they should not bring that nonsense into the schools. We can't afford strikes anymore. anymore. Exactly. Even without strike. Do you see the kind of graduates that we're turning out? Any which way, talking about um, suing people and doing the right thing. Um, the family of the... Um, the former Nigeria Exchange chairman, who was in the ill-fated chopper with um, the Wigwe oh. family, has now gone ahead to sue the United States Charter Service Company that owns the chopper, the chopper. that they were in for um, a lot of things. The American legal system is one of the most vibrant in the world. Mm. You know, you, you read it in your novels, you watch it in the movies, mm -hmm. You have lawyers who mm -hmm. case emergency rooms looking for people who have experienced mm -hmm. some form of um, malpractice or the other, mm -hmm. and they help you make money. Now, this is actually a clear cut case of an accident that could be proven to be. Yeah, so the know, family is saying that um, the fault of the, the flight should uh, have been grounded concrete, because yeah. of the weather. So that flight shouldn't have gone so up at all. They, they should go for it. My own advice is and just go all the way out. They can get something. It's, it's America. Something. Oh, they're getting a lot of things that yeah. even swing them up until uh, damages. And, and by the way, funeral expenses yeah. and all. Yeah, they're, they're, did, they're going all. Did you read of the parents that were uh, docked for manslaughter? They are, they, were cha they are actually going to prison for manslaughter. Their, child, their, their kid um, killed five or six of Oh, uh, yeah, I think I read, I read that. And then using uh, using gone. his father's gun. And so they are going to serve the sentence on behalf of the kid. They are call people too. It's yeah. good. It's good now. I've said. All right, you're still listening and watching Boom Radio. It's the Boom Bar on Boom Radio. If you're watching us on YouTube, a big shout out to you. Please like, comment, and share. Leave a comment. It helps us. It helps our algorithm. Share the link too. It also helps us. And kindly subscribe to Boom Radio NG's YouTube page. And for those of you who are listening, you guys are amazing. Keep listening. God bless you. And we carry on. Anyway, a um, bit of a good news. Naira has now oh, jumped to an eight-month high um, and is selling for as low as 1120 in the parallel market as their talks of... I, I always the, knew that Naira, um, Naira Mali was going to come The good. parallel market has <laughs> now been flooded with a lot of dollars. Yeah. People are... Like, like I said, I always knew that like, Naira Mali was going to come. You are talking about Naira Mali? No. Right? You <laughs> said Naira. You just said Naira. Naira. Naira is Naira. When it comes Naira to, is Naira money. I didn't say when Naira. It comes no, to Naira money, is money issues. Naira money. Nigerians are very compliant. We have been warning them. If you have dollars, bring the dollars out. No, there. I don't think no. they are being compliant. You know? I don't think compliance is the word. Okay. I think it's more of regret. No. Yeah, it, it could be both. Both. It could so be both. both. You are right, it right? Could be what Tokumba said. And it could be what come on. Said we have advised them. We are advising. You just bring this thing out. Don't hold and this. Thing. Also. <laughs> bring Release this thing your out. money. Release anyway, the money. Anyway, um, it is interesting. <laughs> it's interesting to point out to you that in a rare turn of events in River State at the moment, mm. the former governor, Peter Odili, has now endorsed the governor, Governor Fubara. Um, saying that he is, is the official political leader of the state. 
And uh, so it's all about egos, it's all about connections, it's all about networks. And if you look at it without any bias, mm -hmm. go back four years and eight years ago when Yemson Wiki became governor, then four years after when he sought re-election until he left, would you have mentioned any other person as a leader of PDP no. in? Mm. Nobody. Mm. So mm. I don't know why Fubara cannot be leader. If under Amechi, as a PDP governor, then APC, he was leader of the party's uh, yeah. machinery in yeah. that state. Yeah. So Fubara definitely is. And I don't even think he needs this pronouncement, but this is why he needs it, because of the clash with uh, Yenson. We, we have a Comment. Yeah, we have a comment. Yeah, and Peter Man, oh, we're going back to this landmark man. <laughs> update. It's not going anywhere. Update. <laughs> so Peter Man says, turns out landmark even owes, I'm sure he won't say owes, yeah. the federal government money. And won't. And won't. Only Bessie. Dave Umayi reduced the coastal alleged. road to 100. I didn't say it. I'm just you reading the comments. Alleged. No, I don't know. No. I don't know. I just, I'm just, I'm just, 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 just leave me alone. Reduced no. the coastal you. road to, from 100 <laughs> meters to 100 meters from 150 meters. Coastal road continues. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I like that um, okay. Peter Mann took us to this yeah. place. You know, you know, remember one of the days when we were talking about it, I was saying that it's federal mm -hmm. government property. Do you understand? Whether you are paying taxes to Lagos or not, it's still federal See, government. Federal federal government and there's government. a 200 meter Charicola. setback yes. that you are supposed to observe. observe. And these are all the issues. I saw Dave Umayi on TVC and he was saying that... Was that he on TVC or channels? He was okay. on TVC. Okay. I saw him on TVC, I saw oh. him on channels. Oh, okay. But this particular okay. thing I want to refer to, he said to... The, the reporter, okay. the presenter on TVC said, look, that this media campaign is not going to move them. That how come he hasn't mm -hmm. even made the move to the uh, to the Ministry of Works? The Ministry of Works. Works. And I think that's what Mr. Onibe should have done Onibe in the first done, place. Yes. I understand this, the old the media PR thing, is not CNN and all of that. But again, what practical things has he done? What are they going to do? Is he going to move the government? And 200 meters from coastline is set back. The honest truth is that I also feel that, mm -hmm. see, whether you like it or not, when is the matter of federal government or even state government or even local government, when they want to use property, is property. Everything belongs to the government let, at the end of the day. Let, let, let me give you a quick example. When Lagos State decided to dualize the Itire Road from the Apapa Osho, the expressway, all the way to Yaba Market, Going through Itire, mm -hmm. Ojuelegba, mm -hmm. there's a part there that was supposed to consume the palace of the Onitire of Itire. That mm -hmm. palace is still there till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, what they did was to find a way to, to, around, to, to, around to go around it again in Oyo State. At some point in time, there was supposed to be a road expansion that would have taken Ayefele out of business yeah. at some point. Mm -hmm. The government found a way around it. And when one governor woke up one day and said he doesn't want to have it anymore, he brought out the building partially. Oh, but the building is still there because he, he, he later well, then a lot was moved to, back. You know. Um, so at the end of the day, government still has the right to do whatever they want to they do. Have to. I like the old concept of landmark. You know, it's the only mm. You know, uh, Hard Rock mm -hmm. Cafe mm -hmm. I've seen in Africa that I've been to, at least in Western Ijo, Africa. Ijo Sorry, uh, I yeah. Had to push yeah, yeah, that yeah. In. correct. So, okay, so <laughs> Peter Man says, My concerns are people that have turned the landmark tribal, even yeah. news channels, and what enemies. I totally agree. Yeah. I, I think yeah. that the truth is that if even if it's not landmark, it will be something else. Pe mm. At this point, right now, almost everything you do or everything you it's say, tribal and it, there's an ethnic. Or a political undertone they to use it. the word coloration. Yeah, yeah. coloration. They, they, I, I don't you know, think we, it can go anytime soon. I oh. personally, I want to put it on record that I'm yeah. bowled over by this concept of being able to drive 45 minutes from here yeah. to the edge of Open State yeah. and to Ilajel Seldo in Open State in another 15 or 20 it's, minutes. It's lovely. I'm bowled over by the it's fact lovely. that in a few years' time, I can make worry without going mm -hmm. through Benin yeah. and, uh, Ujo, uh, and uh, Ijebode and all of it's, that. It's I am bowled over by the fact that there's going to be rail from Lagos to Calabar. I am bowled over by the fact that nine segments of, of, of Phase 1 mm -hmm. would be done you know, independent of each other Bored over by the fact that there are two spores, one to the north and the second one again on the other end. This is a legacy project. Mm. Let's leave politics and you know whatever 
I said, and look at how project. this will now even open up the other state, nine states, nine states, and two shall the same nine tourism. States. Yeah, it's 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 nine very states. very interesting. Now, quickly before we go, um, just wanted to put it out there as the Super Falcons, as we know, um, after um, sixteen years of um, Drops. not dropped, of being yes, in the of wilderness, being in the, <laughs> par- <laughs> the Olympics have now gone, <laughs> and now they have now been seated in the same group with Spain, Brazil, and Japan. Is it fight? That, that, that is deliberate. Is See, <laughs> that one. <laughs> See, wow, wow, wow. That one is wow, deliberate. See, you wow, cannot wow. prove to me. See, no, sir? now I'm going to show my bias. Show. I don't I don't usually show, show it. it. This is highly unfair. Okay. Very, very. We're just Why? talking about three years ago. Okay, can't when, we be when, better than when all these Spain, people? When Spain Why are we refused not better than to give all these our under 16 opportunity Besides. to travel for a match or a competition starting on Friday. God bless you, sir. Okay, Why? so Why are they doing we, that to us? Uh, what if, what if, what, what if, if we're what? actually better than all these we teams? We will be. We will be better. So we'll be. But, what, what but, is the anger? But, no, it is bias. But, but I, 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 this is not right. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> very, very before, we go, uh-uh. before we go also, <laughs> um, South African FA has been accused of abandoning uh, the Super Falcons after they lost... Uh, we don't mind. Um, after the Bayana Bayana, Sebi, you people are coming for World Cup qualifier and, um, in June. Apparently, they oh, didn't even well, that, find. Well, that's very um, bad. Um, Why? What's it what? called? What? Transportation for them back. Sebi, the they are coming to Uyo in June. Ah, so yeah. how did they get back? Oh, yeah. they Baba Moria, they tricked. <laughs> Baba Moria will carry you, baby. <laughs> Shola, excuse me. Please. I have no By the way, don't listen to him. Baba Moria. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, World Athletics have, have announced that they're going to be awarding um, Olympic gold medalists with a price of $50,000 each. Please, do you have Olympic medal for talking? <laughs> we can talk. We can. Uh, we like. We Three can. of us will collect gold back to back. As a matter of fact, this show should be for three days. But let's do let's do record Olympic record. We will do for four hours each and run it for like. Yeah. Isn't, you're, isn't you're talking? Yeah. We, we can do it now. Don't look poor. I'm not because joining. You're not joining. Don't look fifty thousand dollars. I'm not. Don't look poor. You will open. I will just go and buy. Oh yep. wow! I've been mean supposed to start it. No. We will give you time I will just to go take and buy a, a break. portion of that Lagos Calabar road. I'll buy a portion. Ah, fifty thousand. I'll buy in Lagos. I'll buy in Calabar. Oh, anyway, they land, are said that uh, the Lagos Calabar road. Though, they are said that toll is going to be three thousand naira. Uh, the man is just saying his own. It can ah. be more. It can be less. We saying it's about three thousand naira. That term. Let us build the thing. And they say it is about um, four billion. It's going to cost about four billion naira uh, per kilometer. Per kilo. yeah. That is. Yeah, because we're talking about concrete and it's technology. Gonna, yeah, it's and I think it's and, about... And um, standard gauge rail. Uh, yeah, and yeah. it's going to... The, uh-uh. For the full completion of the road, yeah. is about eight years. Yeah, because they're building simultaneously, like I said earlier. So, the, it's, it, I think it's such a fantastic Let thing. Okay. spend and do it. Uh, BT616, I can't wait for UFC to come to... Nigeria, yeah. once Lagos Arena is completed. Yes, so. Yeah, we're actually uh, looking forward to Lagos yes, Arena. True, That's true, true, so. true. Yeah, true, I, I true, totally, true, totally true, agree true, true, true. with that. True. Anyway, on that note, that is all we have to take today on the bar. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, um, watching people that watch all the time and they're always commenting. God Shout out to you guys. guys. You guys are like the best You're ever. the wind beneath our wings. So we'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. We'll give you gist. There's plenty of gist. New music, Ninja. Every time. So have a beautiful, beautiful Take care. day ahead. Peace.